Hey everyone, here's another follow up on the Eco 610 charger. I actually flashed some new firmware um, because the three of the four that I got, I could not get into the calibration menus no matter what I did. Couldn't get into the overall calibration uh, for voltage or into the cell calibration. Um, and that was, I did everything possible trying different ways of booting it up, powering it, all kinds of stuff. Wouldn't work. So ended up uh, finding a guy on RC groups that made some uh, firmware that works for this, and uh, it works really well. The issue that I ran into is uh, I have a nice Fluke 77 um, that I used to calibrate it, and so now the problem is my cell accuracy on here is more accurate than my regular meter. So. Now this thing's going to sort of be uh, just to check, I guess, uh, the capacity overall, because it's uh, off by quite a bit over everything. Um, anyways, the firmware, after changing it, I've been running a 5 amp uh, charge to a 10,000 milliamp pack, uh, 4 cell, off of a regular 12 volt power supply, um, which before it was having a lot of heat issues. Right now this is actually tolerable to touch now. Um, so I think it might be something with uh, what they did for the frequency that everything is switching and how the charging is being processed. Because if you watch it, I don't know what M is yet, but C is charge, then it will give you a, a uh, display of what's going on, what cells it's working on, um, then it will show you balance and that's where it's verifying balance on everything. Uh, and then it will continue cycling through that. So it basically charges up, once they get too far out of balance, it will stop, balance the cells out, and then continue on with the charge. I now have this set to 0.3, or sorry, 3 millivolt variation, which is extremely tight, and you may want to open it up more than that. Um, default is a uh, 0.9 I believe or 0.7 um, so that means that as the cells can get off by 0.7 before they do this so it gives you a faster cycle because it will if you put it on the uh, charge plus balance mode that this uh, has it will charge up until any of the cells get to 4.2 or if any cell drops behind by whatever your variance is. So it's a really cool setup. Um, this also gives you, so this is why mine's having a uh, cycling so much is you can see the difference between that. So you have this guy at 4.18 and the other one at 4.16. So it's uh, having to really balance everything out there. Um, but if we continue on through these, you now have internal resistance um, which mine will be off by a little bit because I am running through a balance board rather than directly um, and this battery is old and been used a lot um, but there they are you have one two three four five and six um, you have your overall battery resistance and your wire resistance um, so it can see, it takes your overall per cell and then shows you what the, basically your charge leads are adding to that. This is the overall time. I have it set to a max of 300 minutes. It's been running for 20 minutes and 25 seconds. It's been actually charging for 20 minutes and 19 seconds of that. So the other couple seconds in there are uh, maintenance. Um, and then I believe that's how much time of that has been spent balancing. Um, not haven't been able to look too much into the firmware. Um, this you can adjust uh, different things. The tint uh, that's the temperature internal, temperature external. So your external right now I don't have anything connected to it. Internal is running much cooler than before. Um, I gotta see if my calibration actually worked on this. 
Okay, so it is off by quite a bit. Um, currently saying 41, uh, where this is saying 28. So I'll have to go through and calibrate that again. Um, but it's definitely not hitting that uh, 60 Celsius like it was before. Um, this is its safeties. Um, so basically what it does is its fastest charge rate that it'll do is uh, 5,000 milliamp or 5 amp. If it puts out 12,000 milliamp hours into my 10,000 pack, it will shut off. And if the overall pack hits 16.8 volts. So the, uh, currently, the voltage input, um, this is actually not correct. I'm not quite sure how to get that calibrated. Um, because mine's actually running at 12.77 and this one's saying 14.99 um, and I didn't see any setting for that because the V input um, in the calibration is actually for your main battery leads so I have to mess around with that. I did drop the limit down to 9 volt for the input um, doesn't really matter and I have not tried 24 volt on the input yet to see if it'll let me run that um, see if I can get my video to calm down and not be as choppy here. So that's the end of the menus. If we go all the way back to the beginning here, you can see that it is currently working on cell 2. Oh, it was. That was flashing. Uh, and this is the main page. So it shows you what it's overall pack percentages, um, its charge time, its current watts that it's putting into it, current milliamp charge, uh, and then the other feature down here, let's see, charge, your watt hours, um, I mean it, it gives you quite a bit of information on here. So definitely some cool firmware. Uh, if you guys want to uh, see a video on how to flash this, definitely let me know, and I'll uh, go through it. So, check back later so for some more updates on this thing.